an incredible interest already in the announcement about the antibody testing. I understand the phones have been ringing off the hook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so after the uh, press release yesterday and our discussion about the antibody test or the serologic test for COVID-19, we've had a lot of interest from our patients as well as healthcare workers and multiple people in the community, and we're excited to be able to offer that test. For people who don't understand how it works, why is this test so important as we move forward in the fight? Well, there are lots of reasons that uh, this uh, serologic test or the antibody test is important. Uh, one of the things that we had problems with early on was we couldn't test everyone, and particularly patients with mild illness, um, just because of the lack of uh, testing to make the diagnosis. And so now we might be able to give them that answer if they had COVID-19 or not. Also, I think for our epidemiologists, our public health officials, and our researchers who want to know how much spread of COVID-19 has been going on in Georgia communities, this will give us the answer. We can use this test to test not only people that had symptoms, but their household members, other contacts, and really start to understand how widespread this infection was in Georgia. The last part you froze a little, what you're saying is that this antibody test really could be the best first indication of how widespread this really has been in the state of Georgia and across the country. That's correct. This test will allow us to test households and family members of people that may have had COVID-19 and also do some testing in the community and just see how widespread this was in communities here in Georgia and throughout the country. So now the, I, I, I know that it's, it's, a, it's a smaller group right now, healthcare workers go through that, but there are plans to try to expand quickly. Yes, so we're looking at multiple avenues to be able to ramp up our testing and broaden the types of tests that we do. So as we go through the coming weeks, we'll be able to offer this to more people. And very importantly, we're gonna um, go to the next generation of COVID uh, antibody testing. So not only be able to detect whether you have antibodies or not, but also look at the quality of the antibodies that people have in them, and particularly look for a type of antibody called neutralizing antibody. Those are antibodies that can kill the virus very quickly and remove it from the body so that we know patients are really well protected at that point in time. So we will see not only this test roll out, but multiple better tests even in the future. Being able to identify that, does that help down the road when you're talking about therapeutics or vaccines? Yeah, that's a wonderful question. So ex that's exactly right. If we figure out which patients have the highest quality antibodies, then we can use that information not only to potentially make a therapeutic such as convalescent plasma that's being talked about a lot, but also potentially concentrate those antibodies into a product. But down the road, importantly, make synthetic antibody um, that can be used in patients. And that has been done in multiple other infections. And very importantly, that information can be used to help us develop or uh, further enhance the vaccines that are being developed currently. So there's a lot of avenues that this data is going to be used in. You know, for people who don't live in the science world, they, they don't necessarily have anything to base a timeline on. But from the like things are actually moving pretty fast scientifically. Yes, this is, uh, I've been involved in multiple outbreaks in the past and I have not seen the evolution or the change in clinical care and also just the advancement of science go so quickly as we're seeing in this outbreak. And a lot of that is based off of the wonderful new technologies that we have, but also a lot of that is just the wonderful collaboration between people across the world and across the United States that are all really working together, working hard together to get these answers for all of us. We have to be able to get to capacity tests. That data is what drives our decisions and that's so critical. What would, what would be ideal in terms of a reach for testing? So ideally, we would like to be able to test anybody that may have symptoms of COVID-19. And we are getting to that point, fortunately, now. We did have a lot of limitations at the beginning of this outbreak in Georgia, but through great collaboration uh, with the state public health laboratories and then hospitals across Georgia, um, we've been able to ramp up. And here, particularly at Emory, we are able to do 500 tests a day. And so we're really encouraging now 
healthcare providers to send us tests so that we can help them help their patients and really get everybody who needs to be tested, tested. And you're exactly right. If we have that data of who is positive and who is negative, then we can really understand better what is going on in real time in, in Georgia communities. And that will really help us plan what we need to do as far as social distancing and, and how we then plan for when we get back to normal life. But without that data, we will be making uh, decisions sort of just with uh, ideas and without the solid scientific evidence to back up those uh, decisions. And the is so critical because then you can go back to people who maybe in very early March had all the classic symptoms, but didn't have a specific positive test to say, yes, absolutely, I'm on that confirmed cases count. That's exactly right. So we, that the antibody test will even help, um, help us further in developing the total numbers of cases that occurred here in our communities. I have a list of patients that uh, I'm going to hopefully bring back for testing that we just, they had such mild symptoms that with the limited amount number of tests we had, we just couldn't test them but I'm fairly confident at least a few of them had COVID-19 and we'd like to let them know and also for our own sake, know who had it, who didn't. This will really help our epidemiologists and our state public health agencies make these decisions as far as planning for the future.